And if you have plans to travel to Europe, you may want to pack your bags or may not want to pack your bags just yet. The European Union is once again restricting American passengers due to a rise in COVID cases here in the U.S. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam is live at San Diego International Airport to explain what it all means. Jeff. Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, it sounds a little confusing. In fact, so much so that a number of travel agents that we spoke to here this afternoon say uh, they still don't know exactly the full details of what the whole picture is. But if you do have a flight booked to Europe, there is a few things you should absolutely know. They say word travels fast. David Bailey was up in the air. From uh, Brussels. Coming back to San Diego when the new international travel guidelines came down. I didn't hear anything until I was actually on the plane about them actually becoming, uh, about the restrictions. Yeah, it is. It's like one day I'm able to go somewhere, one day I'm not. One day you say, oh, you, you don't have to get uh, the shot. The next day you say you can't have to. <laughs> Right. Aldina Berry came in from Portugal Monday night. She didn't know about the rules until she landed. But Julie Coker with San Diego's Tourism Authority says we better learn them quick because they'll impact flights sooner than later. The EU has made a decision uh, that given the surge in COVID cases that they're seeing in the United States, that they want to ban what they're referring to as non-essential travel, so essentially leisure travel. It was voted on that it's yes, but every country has the autonomy to decide whether they're going to enforce it or not, and that's what we're waiting to see. Coker says it applies to all 27 countries in the European bloc. The details are still a little fuzzy, but she says most likely vaccinated people will be allowed in, but unvaccinated are likely to have a bigger challenge, may need to provide a negative test result or quarantine, and even that might not be enough. It's up to each country. For those with upcoming trips, travel agents recommend checking this website, Sherpa Travel. It allows you to put in your itinerary and to check off if you've been vaccinated or not. It then gives you the latest update on the country you're going to. I also encourage everyone at this point to always get trip insurance. I think that that's important. Um, obviously, this is outside of the normal realms, but this is one of those times where trip insurance might be important. Yep, and if you got flights to Europe coming up, two more places to check out. Check out the government websites for the countries you're flying to. They usually have the latest information there, and check with your airline as well. They do a pretty good job of updating the latest travel restrictions to the country you're going to as well. From San Diego International Airport, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, make a checklist. We appreciate your time, Jeff.